All right. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, exciting to be almost done. It's the 10th of November, so we're really getting close to the end here. Um, any announcements from the team? Uh, yes, have a reminder. Uh, we have a few videos. I think maybe there's some people who haven't submitted. So if you have, maybe you can take a chance of today and submit your video. I can share the link right, right, right again here in the chat box. Please check. Thank you. All right. Uh, Emilia, my suggestion would also be to post it on the broadcast channel because if people join late, they don't see your chat. Yeah, they don't get to see the old messages. Thank you. Yeah. I'll, I'll ping you again at the end for a um, yeah a reminder. Um, okay, in terms of other announcements, graduation, um, there'll be graduation stuff coming up. Everyone's aware of what the when the graduation day is. We're all looking forward to that, for it to be both a reflection as well as a celebration. Um, we'll have, we hope, usually a good number of partners on the call and other people who are interested. I think last graduation was really uh, well received and it was a good chance to reflect on what was there. Um, I will shave for the graduation. I haven't shaved in a while. I'm not growing a beard. Um, it's just laziness on my side. Um, okay, so who wants to go first? I'm really curious about how this week is, uh, how this week's going for you guys. It's a different sort of week. So I'd love to know which project you're working on and what progress you're making and what you want to get done by uh, by the end by submission time? So we have improving a previous week's project and um, the capstone project. So who's first? We're going to go around the room. Not now, Malese. Okay, hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, uh, the project I chose to publish was uh, Web3.1, and uh, refund by contract, mm -hmm. uh, using refund by contract for Ethereum. Yeah, and I'm working on that, in trying to improve the security and also trying to deploy it on a private network. I'm just mm -hmm. trying to create a private network on my laptop, yeah. Uh, which which technology are you going to use? Are you are you sitting on Ethereum or which it, chain are you going to use? Ethereum, yeah. I, I'm I'm going to use the Ethereum one. Okay. Yeah. And okay. for the cap for the capstone, I just submitted the form yesterday. Yeah. And that's also the the refund by location. Uh, no, the credit uh, it's it's a different idea. Okay. For the capstone, it's a different idea. But are you going direction Web3? Uh, no, uh, I'm not. I, I just wanted to publish that one. Like, I, I felt like a lot of things were missing. And I think I, I can improve it well. And with the given, like, with the one week, uh, when I compare the, my progresses, I think I will go to, I will go far in the Ethereum one. OK. That's why. Sounds good. Uh, who wants to go next? I mean, not now. I don't have so much to say to you. I think you're you're uh, you're taking care of stuff well, so not too much to add to what you're saying. So, who wants to go next? Let's hear from everyone. Just want to hear what uh, people are working on in terms of which project, which capstone have they picked? Um, anything else to share? Any blockers? It's pretty light stand up today. I'm not going to be scolding people. Okay, so I'm going to call people out then. I'm going to go in the order that I'm seeing them on my screen. So we're going to go for Degaga and then uh, Fiseha. So Degaga and then to Fiseha, please. And I'm sorry for saying your, your name incorrectly in both cases. Hello. Good morning. Can I just talk about after one minute? Just one minute. Okay, so then let's go to Fiseha. 
Hi everybody. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody's doing great. Yeah. So uh, I chose Ra that Radio time. Fish. We're gonna miss Radio Fish. <laughs> what do you mean? You have this radio announcer voice. You really? should work for the okay. yeah. You should work for the BBC. Uh, that's nice to know. I don't know if that's a compliment or. <laughs> okay, so. I think it's a compliment. Okay, great. In that case, thank you very much. I also don't. Uh, when I I I sometimes listen to the stand-ups and some of the presentations I I do in order to improve myself on public mm -hmm. speaking, even though it is remote. And something I find quite interesting on those recordings is the way I hear my voice from my point of view, like right now, is very different from the voice I hear from the recording. And I always get this confusion and I don't know how to improve it or I don't know if it's good or bad, but I, I also observe that I don't hear the same voice on my recording and when I talk. So that's something I noticed. I don't know if that's. But I, I think you have a. I, I would say. I mean, I think that's quite that's quite normal. But I think you're doing excellent in terms of your, both the tone, the cadence, the clarity. So yeah, no no changes required. I think it's actually really well done. Okay, great. Uh, so yeah, that being said, let's go to what I've been trying to do this week. I chose the. Uh, week five's project, which was our first data warehouse ELT mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. project, and it was a really great project. It touched lots and lots of tools like Redash for presentation, DBT for transformation, Airflow for the whole orchestration, and the use of data warehouses creating a data warehouse. So, basically, simple. Uh, we used Postgres for that week, and I'm trying to get really deep. In the in where the difference between a data lake database and the data warehouse stands in terms of really the technical parts and i'm trying to create this data warehouse now correctly for this time so i really understood what the difference is between those three things at least on an intermediate level so that's and one of the reasons i chose that is because i'm pursuing the data engineering track i want to have something to really present and show my skills and my tools, the tools I've been using. Yeah, and so for the Capstone project, I really don't have any project in mind because all the projects I had was like prior to an academy's training was, you know, more or less related to basic software engineering, right? So I was a software engineering. I graduated in that, uh, department so all the ideas are like websites web apps or mobile apps and has very little or nothing to do with data engineering or web3 or machine learning so i'm trying to revise this idea uh, and i'm trying to contact several people on the group also by contact i mean if they're serious about doing this capstone project and if it's really is going to help me grow in terms of the career path I'm trying to take, which is data engineering. I, I am looking forward to work with somebody else. So maybe this might be like a general type of uh, announcement, right? In order to, I'm not going to be able to reach each and every one of my trainees. And if somebody is really interested in taking this seriously, uh, they can reach out to me and yeah also for the three projects i am going to i know what i'm going to present and i'm trying to polish the presentation in a way you know yeah thanks that would be all that sounds excellent so i if i say how my suggestion to you would be um around a capstone i think there's two things that you should look at and those two things are enough one is a good idea that you're a good problem or a business challenge that you're trying to solve or a social challenge so just doing it for the sake of it is not as interesting as and let's let's take a really simple example of where you want to create a nice interface to look at all of the historical weather for uh, Addis Ababa over the last 20 years so the challenge is 
to be able to figure out what the weather was like on your birthday or I don't know, something really simple like that. So one is what is the business challenge? And the second is what is data availability? I think if you can say yes, that there is a business challenge or a social challenge that you want to solve and there's sufficient data that's available, that's enough. Um, after that, it's just work, it's figuring out the scope, it's doing the work. But I would answer those two questions first. In my experience, people either start with data, but there's no real value to it or nobody cares or there's no re way to engage with people or they want to solve a challenge for which there is no data. So I would uh, if only try and solve those two challenges when it comes to data engineering. Okay, thank you. That, that, I think that's really helpful. Yeah, yeah. thanks. And if I were you, I would probably start with the data first. Because what you don't want to do is to spend hours looking for good data sets. Oh, okay. Okay. Really, really well known. Thank you. Yeah. All right. You're welcome. Degaga? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So uh, I, I, I'm doing on the Web3 part. Uh, at first, I was not sure about this Web3 thing because uh, the first, the week six challenge was very challenging for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can say it made me confused and uh, I didn't do well on that. But on the on the Ethereum challenge, on the uh, location-based refund, everything uh, become clear for me. Uh, I, I can say I, I, I get enlightened. So even I get more interest, interested into the Web3 uh, project, then I decide to do on the Algorand to finish what I didn't do in week six. So I'm doing on that. Uh, I'm progressing well for, for that project. I have started uh, implementing the smart contract and the logic behind the the challenge uh, I'm also planning to design a good front end uh, a good uh, user interface for the project so uh, I'm progressing like this yeah that's it okay sounds good who wants to go next So we want everyone to practice speaking. So not Nail Masresha and then, yeah, guys, we wanna, this is good practice for the upcoming um, job search phase. So let's get everyone to put their hands up, please. Not Nail Masresha. Okay. Uh, for the polishing part, uh, I've, I've chosen the week five project, uh, building ELT. And honestly, uh, planning out tasks, uh, what to do and planning out the weekly task was one of the hardest part of this week task. Uh, I have so far. Do you mean planning the capstone or what do you mean? No, uh, planning the weekly tasks. Uh, we are asked to submit uh, the tasks we'll do in a weekly manner. Tuesday, I will do this, 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 this. I Wednesday, see. I'll okay. Do this. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, that was, yeah, that was hard. And mm. Uh, so by far, I have set up the working environment, uh, recap the objective of the project, and also I've modified some of the airflow algorithms to, you know, enhance the performance of my project, and it was successful somehow. And today I will be working on the data transformation part. Yeah. Any blockers or any areas where we can be helpful? Uh, I had a blocker yesterday. Uh, it was setting up the environment was a bit hard. Uh, I don't know why, but Docker behaved a little differently, uh, but I successfully managed to build it. Mm -hmm. Good. Great. Uh, okay, who's next, guys? We want everyone to speak. So I don't want to call on people. So I'd like you guys to put your hands up. Nanel, yeah? Yeah, uh, I forgot to ask about the capstone project. Uh, I mean, is it going to be a new, like a brand new project? For example, if you're, if you, if I choose to work on speech to text, 
algorithm that I mean someone has already done it right well but somebody's already done everything so it doesn't have to be there's nothing that's brand new but the, the point is to pick an area which you are interested in and which you can keep working on for the next couple of months um, and there's a couple of reasons to do that one is that we want you to pick an area pick a project so you can improve your skills so you have something to talk about and that you are so I guess maybe that's it. So to improve your skills so that you have something to talk about. Um, and something to talk about is also being able to walk an employer through a challenge, being able to showcase the code, to be active on LinkedIn and other platforms. But it also gives you a really good way. Um, so if you want to network with people, a bad way to network is to write to somebody and say, I want a job, can you help me? A, okay way to network is to say look i'm from the same country the same university as you do you have any tips uh, the best way to network is to say hey i'm working on this area this is how far i've gotten i see that you're in a similar area do you can we discuss uh how to optimize um the use of language model abc in the context of amharic speech to text because i think you're working on a similar area so we want you to pick an area that you're actually interested in and that you can work on for a couple of months. So it doesn't have to be totally new. It can be an extension of your current project, um, but that's the why behind it. Nana, Melissa? I have one question regarding the car store. Mm -hmm. uh, does it have to be somehow limited with time? Like that's the idea I submitted. Uh, I think it's gonna take a while. So if not, uh, actually, I, I, I'm sure it will take like more than five years. So oh, do I have to, to change that idea or like keep working on it? Um, I mean, so it'll take five years to get to do what? Uh, to get to the actual uh, idea. And there's no interim phase. Uh, there is. There, there, there might be some phases, actually. Yeah, there, there might be phases. But to, to actually get to the idea, uh, I have to take the long road. So like, there is no shortcut. So I have to take the long road. And the long road will take, like, I'm, I, I will learn, like, a lot of things along the way. But the main idea, like, the core part of the project I'm trying to work on will take, like, lots of years. So that sounds like a PhD to me. Um, and in every PhD project, a student normally meets with his or her supervisor at least once a week. And in those weekly meetings, you should be able to say, what have you, what's changed? What have you learned? Where do you stand? So are you able to, in this project, make progress every week? Yeah, after I'm done, like with, uh, for example, after this week, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I will start working on that. So. And I, I will surely progress week by week. So I think as long as you can do that, that's fine. I think what we don't want to do is to have these all or nothing projects where in between, and there's very few all or nothing projects, but you should be able to update every week, week on week. Um, that's important. Now, I think you're, I believe, and we'll talk in a year, that there's no five year long project. Every project is a five year long project, but every project can also be shorter. It's just a question of release cycles. If you consider, I don't know what Google set out to do, their first product was super simple and the company, they kept releasing new versions, new products. So it wasn't a 20 year long product. It was, they started somewhere and they kept improving it as they went. So I believe as you get into your, pro your project, you will find that there are versions or updates that you can continue to make. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Okay, so let's go around the room, guys. Uh, everyone's going to speak, and I would really prefer not to call on people. Eku Bazgi? Hello. 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 Uh, so, uh, the project that I have uh, selected to polish is the week five project, Scalable Data Warehouse with the ELT framework. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was working on that uh, starting from 
setting up some environments and uh yeah so far i i was uh, facing some blockers before uh, in the in the previous days regarding uh, one is a docker it was uh, taking a lot of resources and my pc was a kind of problem but now i try to solve it by extending the ram and uh, now is running very well and uh, i've also try to revise the codes and i uh, have also tried to connect the uh airflow yeah. and uh, able to uh, connect to the data warehouse the actual the postgres database mm -hmm. mm, even, even though i do have some problems regarding to migrating the records from the excel to the actual database so i have created the table using the airflow and uh, but now i am facing a simple error uh, while i try to insert the records in the excel into the table mm -hmm. this is the progress so far i have done uh, and capstone wise how's your capstone progress yeah that one uh, yet i didn't decide <laughs> i can tell by your voice so you need to yeah. get working on that one too yeah today actually my focus will be on that i i feel like most people find capstones really hard and i don't know why um if anyone wants to ask questions like this i was asking i'm happy to answer but it should i think you should really just find something if i were you guys i would go looking around for a couple of data sets and what's easily accessible data weather uh traffic uh financial data there's a whole set of data health data that's available for free online. And then there's the, there's uh, static data and there's streaming data. Pick a data source. There's good data sources on air quality as well. And the whole point is just to find something that you're interested enough in where there is data and which solves a either business or a social problem. So don't overthink it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Who's next? Emmanuel? Emmanuel, go ahead. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so uh, I, I spoke about uh, the uh, projects that I'm uh, remaking. Yeah. For uh, the, the last two days I've been speaking about it. So. Uh, now i'd like to speak about the capstone project mm -hmm. uh, actually yeah it's just in my mind for now but uh i think it's uh it would be a uh, really problem solving and uh, somehow related to what i've been doing previously mm. so it, it would be just like adding some kind of uh, uh, automation and uh Machine learning and data engineering techniques, what uh, we've been learning these three months. And uh, I'm thinking about applying it to uh, what I've been uh, doing previously. Um, I, I, I still, I'm not sure whether it is uh, doable or not. Uh, I, I must do some uh, feasibility analysis. So I don't know, but uh, I think, I, it would be a great uh, idea coming up. Okay, sounds so. It sounds like you're thinking in the right directions based on the information you've given me. I have no idea what you're planning because you've yeah. it's a it lot, is, a lot uh, of general somehow ERP related. Okay. Uh, and what I'm thinking is, uh, if I could uh, feed the data live uh, as it is going and do some kind of uh, sales prediction so that uh, firms can uh, uh, plan ahead on what amount to purchase. Uh, mm -hmm. It could tell them their uh, reorder point yeah. and it could also predict their sales or future sales. Okay, good. Now I hope you can get the data. So that's, that's the second yes. point. I think what you're talking about is sounds eminently doable and useful. Now you need to think about data source. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's doable too. Good, sounds excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, who's next? 
Uh, Mohammed? Yes, uh, morning. Uh, am I audible? Sabah al khair. Yeah, very good. Sabah al nur. So, um, what I have been working from uh, yesterday was week nine project, is, uh, which is Gokada. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, I'm really interested in working uh, on uh, real world uh, projects like food delivery, uh, logistics, and uh, e commerce. So uh, I picked that project because I could, uh, I, th- I thought that I could really develop and um, continue what I have um, done uh, in the week nine. So uh, till now, um, I uh, uh, understand, I'm, I'm trying to understand the cause of uh, inference, um, looked for some uh, resources and um, pick the data and uh, try to understand the data and do some uh, EDA stuffs. So, um, so that that was my uh, stage on uh, the, uh, the 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 project that I want to develop, and uh, for the capstone project. Um, uh, so I just on I, just on that one, Mohammed, I think it would also be good for you to t- speak briefly to both uh, Daniel, Malaysia, and Masrasha, and also Margaret, because they were on the call. They presented to the CEO. So I think just getting a feedback, uh, talking to them, what did he find interesting? because he provided some insights and said, okay, this I didn't know. So just try and get them on a quick call or a quick chat and just hear from them what did uh, what was the feedback from Olu Tosun. Okay, it'll perfect. be, it'll be I'll, useful I'll for that. you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So um, I will be doing that today uh, as I hope. So uh, in terms of Capstone project, um, I really uh, want to work on, uh, I didn't, um, uh, thought about the capstone yet, but uh, the initial thought or the initial idea uh, in my mind right now is working on the agriculture sector. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, uh, in the previous months and years, um, I have been introduced to some uh, satellite imagery uh, that uh, have uh, agricultural lands uh, data sets, and I think uh, that there there's uh, enough data sets to, to work on. But the idea was um, to work uh, in, in empowering and helping uh, farmers, uh, the, the local farmers, to get access to uh, state-of-the-art uh, algorithms so that they uh, could rise the productivity of their lands and um, make predictions for the upcoming seasons. So uh, that was uh, really the initial idea I have right now. And... Um, uh, I didn't uh, study the feasibility of the idea, but I think uh, that idea is really uh, catching me. Yeah, no, I think that sounds good. I think you're on the right track. I would just narrow your idea down. So what's the what's the specific use case? So when does the farmer <clears throat> need the right information and what would be most useful to him or her? Is it, which, is it what to plant when? Is it which fertilizer to put? Is it which crops are most suitable? Is it what's the rainfall likely to be next month? Mm -hmm. I think you have to uh, answer those sorts mm -hmm. of questions. Yes, uh, I want to um, do a farm uh, or the land analysis so that the the farmers could understand where um, the the crops uh, uh, is affected with some diseases and where to put fertilizers and so on. So basically the idea is uh, to analyze uh, to analyze the land or the soil, uh, so that I could provide an insightful uh, information for the farmers. Mm-hmm. It sounds good. I think write it down. But I think there's a lot of good satellite data that's available, and some of it is free or public. Um, but I think I would spend a little bit more time making your your business need more precise, because I think there's farming is such a complicated thing. And my understanding is there's so many simple things that could be done just to help. You know, the state of the art is very poorly done. Most farmers are just going out and planting whatever they think should be planted. And their use of fertilizer, the productivity is overall very low. So I would. it sounds like you're on the right track. Um, let's get to some more details. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. Great. Okay, who's next? So 
So again, I don't want to call on people. Uh, Margaret? Um, hi, everyone. So as I mentioned yesterday, I think, um, the project I'll be working on this week is um, perfecting my data engineering pipelines and warehousing. Um, so the reason I chose that is because I need to perfect the skills I wrote on my CV. And also it seems very applicable to most um, businesses currently that have not yet automated their, uh, their data pipelines. Um, so for the capstone project, I think I will go with the Gokada project and also kind of um, uh, use the data engineering pipeline um, ideas to also like create a dynamic uh, data engineering pipeline. And also like uh, from the document that was shared, the proposed, one of the proposed um, capstone projects was to enrich the data engineering pipeline for other, for topics like Gokada. Um, yeah, that's what I will be working on. Do you want to, do you want us to ask? Olu Tosin, if he's interested in kind of working more closely with you? Uh, is it possible? <laughs> of course it's possible. You can ask him. I mean, so one thing that we've seen uh, that sometimes works is somebody says, look, I'm willing to volunteer or to intern. Um, salary is generally not much, uh, and but you have to commit for a certain period of time. And that's how one gets started. Um, but if you're willing to do that, then send me a message and we can write to him. And I think, I mean, based on what we saw, I, if I was him, I would be like, yes, I'd be happy to get someone on board to do something. Um, okay. How do I know that he already has not implemented the pipeline yet? <laughs> the pipeline yeah. and... Did, okay. I think you didn't, it, I'm nine, I'm 127% sure that he hasn't done it, anything because it's really hard to do what you guys already started to do. And yeah, I'm, yeah, more than a hundred percent sure. Okay. Um, you guys, yeah, you guys um, are dramatically overestimating the capacity of most businesses. Okay. Um, thanks. I'll think I'll about it and let me know. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it sounds like a really good application and a good capstone project to work on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. Who's next? Birtukan? Yeah. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah. Very well. Uh, for this week, uh, I chose to polish my project from the past three weeks in uh, week five. Uh, on your, Monday, your voice, your voice is uh, coming and going, Birtupan. Maybe you could speak up a little bit. Okay. What about now? That's better now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, on Monday, I uh, have planned for the tasks that I will be uh, doing to help me uh, perform on the tasks on the data warehousing. Uh, and for yesterday, uh, I did the interim uh, for the according to the plan uh, I have submitted and I updated the plan for the coming two days and I performed, I think I performed well and um, according to my plan. Uh, and today I have a plan to work on uh, DPT. And I, I did initialized and I did started on working on that. And today I will continue on working that. And, for the three projects that we will uh, 
present for the next week. Yeah, I am a bit prepared for that also. Make it uh, finish in a short minute. So yeah, that's my progress. Yeah, sounds good. <clears throat> um, okay. So I'm just waiting. We want to go around the room. Let's use the time well. Everyone needs to speak, so don't don't bother hiding. Just put your hand up. This is also really good practice, guys. When you get to work, when you go to an interview, you have to be ready to put your hand up and speak when you're at work and you are too shy to say what you're doing. Um, you end up getting overlooked. So you need to put your hands up. You need to speak and to get used to saying, look, in one minute, this is what I got done. So MT9, go ahead. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, yes. Uh, so, <clears throat> sorry. As for the, uh, the project that I'm perfecting this week, I chose, uh, just like Margaret, project of week five, because um, I'm also in data engineering. Uh, that was a good project for, for to practice the important skills. And also because that week, in week five, I, I didn't manage to do much. So mm -hmm. because for technical difficulties, I had to windows at some time. So uh, yeah, I had it. Now I have a chance to, do things uh, better. So, quick question for you: Is, is Ubuntu so bad? No, it's, okay. uh, it works very well. Uh, as uh, for Capstone, I still don't have any idea, honestly. Um, Maybe you live in a place where there are no problems or no data. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it's a, I don't know, it's a joke, but uh, I mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a joke, but uh, like the, I, the data is an important part. It's like, um, I, because I have tried before, honestly, before the academy to work on projects on my own and uh, uh, securing the data is a very, uh, it's not always easy. So you mm -hmm. can have a great idea, but then there is no data available. Um, so I don't really know uh, how to go about it. I would start with look for good streaming data sources. What's the source of data you can get every day? So one which is, which should be working is Twitter or weather or stock prices or currency exchange, um, air quality, satellites. Uh, and maybe one thing you can do is if you find it difficult to get data in uh, in Egypt or in Sudan, then go to a place where they publish regular data all the time could be uh, in the US or in Europe, there's lots of places where they have to publish their data. The city of Chicago, for example, I think it's mandatory that they publish all public data. So the problem is not data. The problem is uh, data which relates to a business problem that you're interested in. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm still thinking about that. So I don't have anything um, yet to, to report on. Yeah, but um, think about it. I mean, so empty. Go find two data sources that you that you don't hate. It doesn't have to be perfect, but things that you don't hate. So it could be weather. Can you find a good source of weather data and a good satellite data source that you can work with, or stock data, or health data? Health data doesn't change all the time. Uh, weather data. I don't know, air quality. You can find yeah. this. Stuff. Yeah, but what should I do with them? <laughs> that's the point. Like, I have yeah, quite an idea as a data. That's true, time. but let's, let's take it one by one. Yeah. So first start with the data source, and then let's think about if you come up with two, maybe three good data sources that are free, they're updated regularly, um, then I'm sure we can come up with a with something which you're interested in. Okay. I know it's a little bit weird when you're sort of forced to go out and do something, but we are here to help, and this is why we're sort of forcing you to say, no, you need to make a decision. All right. Um, so, uh, okay, what are we supposed to, to, to do by, by the end of this week? Or I don't know, what is the deadline? I would, I would really like you to have a sense that you could write up a paragraph about what you're going to do. 
Okay. What's your data source? And so like I said to everyone else, what is your source of data? Because that's going to underpin most things, Web3 maybe not, but for ML and for data engineering, what's your data source and what's the problem that you're trying to solve? Okay, so just the, just the general idea, not the actual, not the plan. Because... Well, I, don't, I actually have to see what, what's been asked to be submitted, but as far as possible, I think that's the sort of minimum, that's the minimum requirement. Okay. Yeah. Um, but of course, as far as possible, so what does the final submission say? Um, does it say we have to submit identify a topic work outcome infrastructure and other necessary elements to submit it so it should be something less than a page and basically a i would frame it as follows it should be something that if you want to find a collaborator on your project that you can share this with this uh him or her and say okay this is what i'm planning to do are you interested One tip I have for you and for everyone else is don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. So even if it's not the perfect project, pick a project which is good enough. All right. Um, by the way, is is are we can we have um can we invite a collaboration on our projects? Yes. Okay. I am. All right. It's your project. I mean, you can do whatever you want. All right. Um, okay. So, yeah, okay, thank you. All right. Um, and I mean, one point I want to add there is that even if the training is finishing, we take this idea of community um, and alumni very to heart. And so we're not disappearing. It's not that you guys are out and gone and, you know, Masalama, have a good life. You, we're available. I think sometimes time can be tight. But if you want support, if you want to discuss something, I was actually talking just before um just before the stand-up one of our batch four trainees arranged a call uh regularly we talk regularly and so there's there is always the opportunity to stay in touch um because we're interested in your progress so when it comes when it comes to your capstones or other ideas or you want suggestions i would really encourage you to make use of others in the community both uh those of us on the team as well as other trainees as well as other alumni because that's that's the success we think we're going to see going forward, not each of us individually, but the group moving together. Okay. Uh, so, Emtian, go ahead, and then we'll go to the next person. No, I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah, I will yeah. keep this in mind. Yeah, thank as, you. As, as you say, la, la shukran al vaju. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, who's next? Who's next, guys? <clears throat> oh, am I going to have to call on people? Come on, guys. We have 26 minutes. Let's use our time well. So people I haven't heard from. Gedeon, Kibatu, Michael, Jane Rose, Haley Michael, Burhanu, Josias, Johans, Tagisti, Adijat, Hello, Michael. Uh, hello. Uh, Hi. Good morning, everyone. Um, in this week, I I am working on the week seven project, which is uh, text to speech to text data collection. Uh, and in that week, uh, some of the tasks were not uh, completed, so uh, I listed out those tasks and. I am work, working on on those tasks. Like uh, for example, uh, in that week, the front end was completed. The the airflow, uh, the airflow automation was completed, but the Spark and the Kafka part uh, was not integrated with our code. Uh, it it was just to work it in independently, but we didn't uh, integrate that with our project. So I am, I am uh, trying to integrate that. So 
this is uh, what I am going to do this this week. And for the capstone project, uh, I'm still making research, but uh, the title I choose is uh, mapping uh, urban vulnerability, vulnerability areas like crimes, disasters, uh, and uh, other things. Like uh, I got an open source data. Uh, it was collected on Johannesburg, so uh, I will work on that, but uh, I might change my title. I'm just making the research. Uh, yeah, this is, this is my, my progress. <clears throat> Excellent. Thank you. Thanks, Heather Michael. Um, okay, who's next? It's been, it's been 12 weeks or 11 and a half weeks and we still can't get everyone to speak. Adija. Hi, good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, I am working on the week five project. Uh, it's more because it's more because I can set it up all locally and I don't have to use uh, a cloud compute storage or stuff or, or, or an exterior storage. Uh, I think uh, when I get when I get hold of doing doing things, basic basic data engineering things locally is is the best one to start with. So so far I have no blocker. The blocker I had yesterday, I was able to resolve it in the early hours of the morning, of this morning. So as I, I think I'll reach out to other people that are doing this thing if I do get a blocker. So that's it for my hand. Okay, and the capstone? Hello. What is, and for your capstone? Um, I have not come up with anything concrete at the moment. What I'm thinking of right now is um, probably a social course where where you can I can channel multiple multiple data about executives in a local let's say Lagos like executives that are representing neighborhood the, uh, uh, both in federal and state level, and when you get to a road that is probably a port road or needs to be or needs some fixing, you can just input your street and then it will bring up the contract details of people you can talk to. That will, that will take some data engineering stuff to get the data to the night in a table or something like that. To but I'm not sure yet. Okay, I, I couldn't understand most of what you said. I think you're not okay, super you sure want what you want to do. So you started mumbling. So I couldn't hear most of what you said. But let's let's move on. Just in the interest of time, please do keep working on Adijat. So we want everyone to speak. Oh. So if you haven't spoken, please put your hand up. Michael, get at you. Thank you. Fiseha is really angry at Elpa. So Fiseha, don't get mad. Uh, just move in with Haley Michael or Nanel. Um, go ahead. Hello. Hi, Michael. Yeah. Uh, uh, as an update from my side, uh, I have uh, chosen the week seven project, uh, which is on data engineering, mm -hmm. and uh, which uh, in which we were required to develop some speech to text uh, text to speech uh, data collection platform. Uh, where this can be leveraged and uh, uh, can be uh, can serve some uh, other uh, machine learning models or machine learning uh, projects which might come to uh, uh, solve African language uh, African local language problems and uh, ben uh, where African language local language can uh, benefit from this data collection platform. I have chosen to work on that. Uh, also, as a capstone, I want to extend this flagship project and maybe in the future, I, I, I'm not sure uh, the time frame, but 
about building this data collection platform for uh, most of the significant uh, languages which are in Africa can be a, a possible business idea. So uh, I have been working on like uh, the flagship project like that and as a capstone to submit an idea I have been having just two ideas which is uh, an extension of what we have done on the uh, uh, web street track and uh, I have been somehow uh, not clear with my ideas but I'm trying to like brainstorm and uh, make things clear for me and to set out a plan which I can go far and implement uh, something in a uh, in two months or two months in half. Okay, sounds like there's still some work to be done there, um, but please do make progress on your capstone. I think it's important to, yeah, I think yeah, there's a lot, it yeah. seems like everyone's... That's why I, I want to uh, to spend more time uh, figuring out which uh, idea is the best, which idea can, which idea I can work on, like uh, applying what I've learned on Tain Academy. So that's why it's taking me uh, long. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, who's next? Tagisti? Yeah, <clears throat> go ahead. For this week challenge, I select the on the data warehouse. warehouse. So my progress uh, looks like just on Monday, I, I collect sources and review on the uh, challenge document. Then on the uh, I try to configure the work environment. Uh, so yesterday on Wednesday, I also able to manage connect the address and also the airflow. Uh, but I have problems on that. Just on the job and our schedule and work. Today, hopefully, I will fix it. For the capstone, uh, it's okay. I'm really confused. I didn't uh, select till today. And I don't know how I can select or how I can decide or in which part. Uh, maybe a uh, should related to our dad or problem. for example it's i uh, on the project on the data engineering track so should i um, select the capsule project related to the data engineer or to uh, do on the also on the machine learning it should be related so, to the it should be related to the track that you that you're interested in um, because the whole point is to help you during the job job search phase so i think it's important that it's related to the track i'm a little bit surprised that uh, there's so many people who haven't thought about the capstone and it hasn't been visible so i'm going to ask anastasia to reach out it seems like there's some action that we need to take but the capstone it's uh it's actually an important it's important for everyone here to think a little bit to be able to come up with one project which they can showcase what they're doing. So we're going to have to find a solution for this. Um, OK, we're going to keep going around. Who hasn't spoken yet? Gideon, Kibatu, Jane Rose, uh, Josias, Johans, Rahanu, go ahead. Uh, sorry, can I proceed? Uh, OK, yeah, go ahead, Tagisi. 
I thought you were finished. Okay. Uh, um, new for data engineer. Just for uh, for the academic training, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't have any experience on that. So, is there any way some women in academy team recommend on the project title? Is possible? Could Could you say it again? Is there any way that can we get some uh, project title list or uh, pass on uh, the project for our capstone? Yes, I think there's three of them that are there's three that are proposed there. Um, so for data engineering, there's the CAPTCHA or there's also the e-commerce data enrichment process. So there, there's a couple of simple ideas there. There's also all of the projects that we've done that could be one could think about uh, extending them. Yeah, I think I really feel like you guys are overthinking it. I'm so maybe we underestimated how hard this would be. Um, I mean, actually, everyone should have always in the back of their mind two, three different types of projects that are ready to go you guys if you know the sector you've been exposed you should always have ideas that are bubbling in the back of your mind um okay lesson learned for us uh kibatu okay good morning morning uh, i'm working on extending text to speech data collection uh, that is week seven project so i managed the amharic and swahili language characters that are missed in the week seven and I'm going to implement the endpoints and logging to ensure that the database is working and the services are running smoothly in the entire system. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, parallelly, I'm working on update my CV and an academic profile. For the Capstone project, uh, I think I will be work on the data warehouse in the week five project after finishing Ten Academy training so okay i think kibatu got um hit by elpa so let's go to uh yosias typed rahanu go ahead okay hello good morning good morning Okay, to update my progress on this week, uh, I've pursued on the data engineering track. So I choose to update my knowledge on that area. Uh, I choose week five uh, data warehouse uh, to update in the uh, more, uh, get more uh, tools on that. I was working on the airflow in the, the data pipelines. It was, uh, uh, the data, the airflow was not uh, connected with the DBT, so I changed the DBT to the Postgres and also uh, write the codes within the object oriented form. And also, uh, my progress was my blocker was the Docker. When I was working on the uh, week five, it's, uh, it was uh, properly uh, worked now, but when I was, uh, when now, uh, yesterday when I uh, try to uh, build up, there is a problem happen. Uh, just then I try to uh, fix uh, by installing again the Docker. And also for, about the Capstone uh, project, I was thinking and I was searching yesterday uh, uh, the, to work on the data engineering area. So. I get some uh, title, but still I'm not uh, sure, and I decide to work on that uh, on that title, and uh, I think I will manage uh, on time. Yeah, that's all my update. Thank you. Okay. So we're over time. Uh, who hasn't gone yet? Johans, let's go quickly, please. And and Jane Rose. Uh, Jane Rose typed wonderful. Johans and. Uh, so, Johans, can you go?
Yes, sorry. Uh, I was just connecting with my phone. Currently, my laptop uh, to have a problem with mic issues. So I uh, do select the uh, data engineering project from week five. Uh, for this scalable data warehouse, I am doing on that. I have got a blocker on uh, the setups. I am just trying my best. Uh, one time it's working and the other time it's just uh, just uh, still uh, working on that. But the nice thing is that I am using it uh, as, a, as an opportunity to introduce myself with the track that I have uh, chose. So uh, I'm still working on that. Hopefully that would be nice for me. Uh, that's my update regarding the capstone. I am still a little bit confused. I I want to do a, a caption project from the machine learning uh, track, yet uh, it's not recommended to do so. But, uh, Why? I'm not still confused. Uh, I don't know. My, I mean, I mean, you were just talking about if uh, it's better if we do a project from our uh, track, right? Right, but why can't you do a capstone on the machine? Who said it's not recommended? I don't know. I just heard it for you were talking. I mean, because we apparently we're going to be asked for our, from our interview that we are going to take off. So no, no. You, you, should pick, you should do a capstone on your track. I would think most of the people I was talking to were on the data engineering track, but you should pick a capstone which is related to your chosen track. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that and so so my idea was just uh, the, the the application that I was the, I mean uh, there was this an application right we, that we applied for the Ten Academy in uh, back in week zero mm. I would I want to try that but that's uh, in a machine learning track so hopefully I will come up with uh, another data engineering project for the capstone. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will have to search on that, or I will have to read on uh, what the Ten Academy has recommended us to do for each track. That's my status regarding the capstone. Okay, Gideon. I don't think we heard from Gideon. If we have, then apologies. I think you're the last one. Uh, can you hear me? Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Okay, so the project I'm, plan I'm planning on improving is the week one project, the telecom user analysis project. And I I'm just trying to just complete the task that I didn't get to mm -hmm. during the week. And so far, I've, 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 I'm doing just the EDA and just trying to fully understand what each of the what what each of the tasks are and so on. So just to have a fully completed project and I'm making some decent progress. And the Capstone project, uh, I'm not really sure. I, I'll have to do more research about which project I would like to do, but I think it needs, I think I, I, think I need like uh, more time to think about it and just do my research. And I think, yeah, I, I don't think like uh, I'll have like a complete idea in a short amount of time. Can you get something done by next week? I Yeah, I'll probably have uh, some idea of the, for the submission, but uh, to have a detailed plan and so on, I think I'll, I'll take my time and do my research to have a complete uh, plan. Yeah. Um, I would just encourage everyone, again, not to make the perfect be the enemy of the good. You have to start do something, improve on it, keep writing, keep sharing, but don't don't wait for the perfect plan because the perfect plan doesn't exist. I think actually coming up with a plan which is 60% good is enough. Write it down, start there, and it's only once you start doing the work that you're going to learn what's, uh, what is working and what isn't working. So I hear a lot of people, and I think it's this mindset, it's a school mindset that it has to be perfect, and it's only when it's perfect that I'm gonna get the A plus grade. This is not uh, how projects work. Um, we look at the training that you've gone through. We make thousands of mistakes, um, but 
what we're proud of is that we keep learning from those mistakes. You can see, I'm not a big fan of Elon Musk and what he's doing with Twitter, but he clearly said, look, we're gonna be experimenting, trying different things, and we're gonna keep what works and we're gonna let go of what doesn't work. So for everyone on the capstone, this is not school. You're, there's no A plus grade. There's no leaderboard number one ranking. You just need to pick, find something you're interested in, start working on it, and it's going to be that work that's gonna pay the results. Um, okay, so there was an announcement from Emilien, and I'm going to repost the link. Uh, it's uh, He's asking you to submit your 10 Academy graduation video today, and I've just posted the link again, and I think it's on Slack as well. Any other announcements from the team? Yeah, hi, Arun. Morning, hi, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, we have presentations on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I know many people have put their shots, but please do if you haven't. I also remind you on Slack. Yeah, really important. One of the reasons we're doing that is the ability to present what you've worked on is a good sign that you've actually understood it. And every single employer, every interview that you will go to will ask you to do that. So this is not work, this is preparation for uh, careers. I wanted to say a word about careers. Uh, we've just launched uh, about 10 days ago our first intensive job search phase. So it's the first time we're doing it. We're taking people from batch four, batch five. And on the 28th of November, we're going to start with uh, batch six. What we're seeing is that it is a lot of work. Um, given the current prevailing economic climate, there's been mass layoffs in different industries. We're confident that we're gonna be able to get people into jobs, but it's gonna take, uh, everyone should be ready to spend about three months working four to five hours a day for three months. So I think this idea, we I want to set everyone's expectations really clearly. It's going to take a lot of work in terms of uh, applications to get interviews and then upskilling in required areas to actually get through the interviews. So. Um, we had said during the application process that it's going to be three to six months. And what we're seeing now is we should be ready. You finish the first three months. Um, it will change. The rhythm will change. It's not going to be like the training, but it is an additional three months that everyone should be ready for. So I wanted to put that out there. The next intensive job search phase um, where all of you will be part of it starts on the 28th of November. We'll be sharing more information but um, let's be ready for that, uh, that next type of work. Any questions before we wrap up? I'm sorry to go over time. All right, thank you. Have a great day, everyone, bye.